Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI. And this is a patient born in 1972 who had an ACL tear, ACL reconstruction, and they have some fullness and pain in the knee. And they have several findings, but this is just one of them here. The interference screw of the femur, it pokes a little bit beyond the cortex of the femur into the intercondylar knot, so the position is not great. And also the ACL graft, we can see it coming down here. It's a little thick, but it looks like it is intact. These are always hard to tell if they're intact or not, but this one I can see this dark signal coming down. On the coronal images, you can see the same thing. So it looks like the graft is intact, but the main finding is here in front. Normally there should be nothing in front here, but instead we see this big mound of gray signal in the central knee joint anterior to the ACL. And this is what we call arthrofibrosis. This fibrotic response and it's this whole area here, and this will cause fullness in the knee. They try to extend. They can't extend because this is in the way here, the mass effect. So just a quick example of arthrofibrosis has a complication of um, the ACL repair. One other thing I always look for is roof impingement. So every time they have ACL uh, repair, I say, no evidence of arthrofibrosis. Now look here, and they do have that. Or roof impingement, and that's where the femur is abnormal in position. It pinches the graft, but here it looks like the femur is right here. There's plenty of room for the graft to go. So they do have arthrofibrosis, this big mound of gray signal here causing mass effect, but no evidence of roof impingement. And it looks like the graft is thick, uh, but it is intact. And again, this screw is not in the best position. So thank you very much.